Hello, I'm Andre Day, and today I'm going to do a little promo for my video synthesis in vSynth class that I'll be starting the first session off in uh, teaching through Polyphase Portal this year. Um, so this class, uh, and yeah, just in general for folks watching this video, this is mostly a promotion. There's not going to be a whole hell of a lot of actual... <laughs> educational stuff in here but it's also not going to be very long so um yeah uh minimum amount of education maximum amount of promotion that's where i'm at these days i guess <laughs> but you'll learn in the class if you take it so that'll be cool i guess um so yeah this class i'm teaching digital video synthesis in vsynth um for those of you who don't know who vsynth what vsynth is or who vsynth is um it's this what you see right here it's a modular video synthesis uh, uh environment designed for max msp technically it's not called max anymore but uh, i found if you just say max and you search for max like you only see hbo max shit um so that was kind of a crazy idea for them to change the name like that um so it's a package designed by uh kevin cripper for uh, uh max msp that is you know like a virtual module modular environment for uh doing video synthesis um the class i'm teaching so it's not going to be like a v synth class because v synth has a lot of very specific things that are unique to itself um the class i'm teaching is going to be more about video synthesis in general and techniques that will work cross platform and the reason we're using v synth is that it's uh incredibly easy to uh set up and install on uh windows and mac computers uh, and not a lot of other things are and you can actually get the whole thing set up for free you don't have to buy a license to use it or to try it out for the class um you do have to buy a license for max in general if you want to be able to save patches long term but you can download like a 30-day uh trial version and use it without any um without any uh restraints for 30 days and then the only drawback i think after 30 days is you can't save patches anymore but you can still use it so anyone can use this without needing to pay anything you just download install it and install the vsynth package uh so that's one of the reasons i thought it would be really nice to use this and also vsynth is really cool it's pretty fun it's a great way to kind of sketch out ideas a great way to like even if you're not your end goal is not to use like vSynth for a live performance or for like a video project or whatever. Uh, it's a really great place to explore uh, ideas uh, without having to set up a whole bunch of other things, complicated things. Um, it's just like a nice, uh, beyond everything else, it's a really nice sort of scratch pad for like experimenting. Um, and yeah, it also does work very well for making like uh, uh, video art and doing live stuff with it too. So uh, uh, yeah, that'd be cool to like try to introduce more people to this thing because when I teach the classes IRL, uh, I always kind of mention this and people are just like, what? Never heard of it. So I guess people aren't really aware of it um so yeah <laughs> video synthesis and vsynth i'm going to focus mainly on uh in this class we're going to focus mainly on just like using oscillators filters uh colorizers blend modes keying and feedback so using very kind of simple components to try to do very complex things uh and stuff that will work sort of across if you want to like try stuff out in here you could probably do the exact same thing in like hydra you can do the exact same thing uh, uh in artificial life do the exact same thing using like um uh like analog uh, uh video oscillators etc etc uh i can think there's like a touch designer video synthesis thing you could probably use this for and maybe i'll try teaching in class on that at some point but yeah i just want to do a little teaser here for like what the kind of stuff so like starting out in this class We'll be working with stuff like this. So what we have here is just, we've got three sets of oscillators. We've got a waveform generator, waveform generator, and then a shapes waveform generator. So we've got sort of two regular old oscillators kind of like running into one another. And we'll sort of examine like difference between like frequency, speed, 
uh, you know, what this negative speed and positive speed things mean. Um, talk about shapes, wave shapes, how those do like different, uh, different interactions with each other. Uh, bias. And doing very simple modulation between um, the uh, different waves. So using like bias modulation here, and I think we've got frequency modulation here. And yeah, starting off, we'll just focus on like the oscillator stuff and then using like very simple cross modulation uh, and then very simple blend modes to try to mix things together. And then once we play around with oscillators a bunch, we'll start adding in color and look at how you can colorize because, you know, uh, video oscillators uh, are by default just going to be black and white and grayscale. Uh, so we need to think about different ways that we can add color into them. <clears throat> and once we have that, we'd like to talk about doing more like cross modulation between oscillators introducing filters and introducing modulators for the color as well so you can see this is sort of like the second second little iteration of the same patch we've got here where we have hue modulation happening we're still blending things together over here we're still colorizing just doing like the very basic colorizing and using getting more complex colors out of using the blend mode here uh, but we're also using, uh, we're doing feedback modulation between these oscillators. So these oscillators are each modulating one another and doing feedback that way. Um, so we're going to look at this kind of like cross modulation feedback stuff that we can do and how you basically, what kind, and, and at that point we'll start to introduce filters into the mix using filters, high pass and low pass filters and just general purpose like, um, general purpose kernel convolutions uh, and how we can kind of like use that to uh, steer our uh, signal based feedback in different ways. So that's part two. We'll get into more of the nitty gritty of like complex uh, feedback uh, signal routing, uh, modulating color and uh, filters. And then once we kind of like get through that part, we are going to delve into uh, Luma King and using uh, feedback, using video feedback as like a, a part of our signal chain. So this is where we start. Um, I mean, the whole time we're going to be thinking about like sort of comp composing, how do we compose within a frame and how do we compose over time? Uh, and I would say these kind of like these basic, the, 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 the elements I'm talking about here are kind of like the core of what like most sort of like uh, space time compositional techniques are going to be using. We can use, you know, we can delay frames. We can have feedback that's just like these trails that goes like that. That. We can have longer, longer uh, echoes. Um, we can do stuff like displace the feedback. So that's geometrical displacing or like twist it around. Uh, we want to play around with the, 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 the HSL values of the feedback. Do a little hue shifting in there.
And yeah, and then from that point on, we'll just sort of start building up. Uh, uh, we'll finish up by doing like uh, putting together these like larger components of like colorizers, feedback chains, and sort of like start to like uh, develop how do you make like these performative patches out of things. So the end goal will be like first bunch of classes will be like basic techniques, introduction to oscillators, filters, mixing, uh, blend modes, colorizers. Uh, geometrical displacement, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Feedback, uh, uh, chroma key, and luma key, and then at the end we'll talk about how do we put this all together and like use this in some sort of like a perform and perform performance based space. Uh, so yeah, ten minutes. That's a really tight video for me, um, and I don't really want to go too long because this is really just a teaser. But yeah, um, check out the class at polyphaseportal.xyz to sign up. There'll be uh, sessions. There's definitely one session coming up if you're watching this very soon upon this video dropping, and there should be, you know, two or three sessions happening uh, uh, on an annual basis going forward uh, at polyphaseportal.xyz. So yeah. Check it out, and as always, have fun.